Numero uno, you train with the mind of a toddler, not focusing on any one thing long enough to actually get good at any of the basic lifts. How long is long enough? I would say five years is a good starting point. Spend five years getting good at the basics. So here are some basic prerequisites that I would advise you try and achieve. 10 to 20 pull-ups, 10 to 20 dips, one and a half times body weight back squat for multiple reps, two times body weight deadlift for multiple reps, and a body weight bench press for multiple reps. Number two, you have spent all your time training without a good coach. Please pay attention, I said good coach. Find a coach who is of high ability because getting to a high ability requires an immense amount of learning and training. To reach a superior level, you will need to learn things you don't know and these things can only be learned in the trenches of hard training. Number three, you do not eat enough food and you do not lift heavy enough. This actually applies both to men and women. Think, how the hell are you supposed to grow muscle mass and fuel your workouts if you are eating like a child all the time and not assimilating the required raw material? So, stop eating cereal and protein bars and increase your animal protein intake. Eat at regular intervals across the day also. One thing you must realize is that heavy loads drive neuroskeletal and muscular development. You have to live heavy enough to stimulate adaptations. It's not fun and it requires a level of discomfort. Heavy strength training has a profound effect on muscle protein balance. When muscles are mechanically overloaded and then provided with appropriate nutrients and recovery, the body initiates the adaptive response that results in a gradual accumulation of additional layers of muscle proteins. Mechanical overload requires by definition heavy load, so heavy being relative to that person at that time. These adaptations are more prominent when intensity is high. High intensity being 85% load and above, so I'm not talking about HIIT workouts, that's not intensity, that's metabolic stress that you're feeling and your body is busy trying to flush waste products uh, instead of focusing on creating force or recruiting a significant amount of muscle fibers. The load lifted is the most important factor in hypertrophic response to resistance training. Heavy loading promotes neural adaptations which signal to the body's hormones and bone structure that it can grow more muscle to deal with the intensity it has been placed under. This does not happen below 70% load. Number four, your sleep quality and quantity is garbage. Poor sleep tanks testosterone levels the same amount as age in 10 to 15 years and also has a substantial effect on hormonal function. Hormonal function drives adaptations. Sleep quality and quantity is the missing link for most people. Prioritize the timing and quality of your sleep. Sleep is the most powerful tool you have for growing muscle, increasing strength and losing fat. And most people totally ignore the quality of their sleep. Take this fact, for instance. Researchers found that when dieters cut back on sleep over a 14-day period, the amount of weight they lost from fat dropped by 55%, even though their calories stayed equal. Less than seven hours sleep per night is detrimental to your health. Eight hours sleep is very good, but nine hours sleep is optimal. And finish on, on number five, you train with a very low skill level. This is also something many people totally overlook and totally ignore. Growing muscle and increasing strength is a skill and you must practice quality repetition. Think of it this way, a more skillful sculptor can carve and create beautiful pieces of work. Whereas if you paid no attention to the detail and to the art of it and simply started hacking away at the clay, you wouldn't create anything worthwhile.